Hey there guys, this is Phone Techie, and today I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever wanted to have your Galaxy S3 run like a stock Nexus 4? Well, this ROM will do it for you. Let's get into it. So first of all guys, um, I'd like to say please go donate to me down below so I can get future devices to review. And I have some exciting news as I just ordered the Galaxy S4. Uh, it is the unlocked version with the octa-core processor. So the i9-500, um, I thought it would be awesome to get the octa-core version. So that's the one that I ordered. Um, it should be coming sometime this month, hopefully. Right when the Galaxy S4 is released, it should come the next day to my house. And I'll have an unboxing and all those videos about that. So if you guys are interested in that or are going to be um, getting that device, make sure to subscribe for future videos. And when I root it, and I'll show you guys some ROM videos. So let's get into this ROM, guys. This works for the AT&T, T-Mobile, and International Galaxy S3s. Sorry, Verizon Sprint. I don't know if they will be porting it there. Hopefully, they will soon. Um, so um, this was actually originally for the International Galaxy S3, and I saw it on Smoking Android, um, the review, and I thought, this ROM is awesome. And it was just ported recently to AT&T, T-Mobile. So basically, what this is, is it's stock. 4.2.2 nothing else just stock 4.2.2 if we go into about device you can see it says Android 4.2.2 you can tap on it Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean so when I mean nothing else I mean nothing else there are some little tweaks that give you a better experience and um, some faster UI but otherwise there's no cyanogen mod no AOKP stuff nothing so that will give you a faster experience since you don't have all those tweaks and it's kinda nice to feel that you install you don't have to go through all those settings to figure out basically you get a Nexus 4 so as you can see nothing I could slowly go through here and there's no extra settings for some people that might be a deal breaker but for me I found it pretty cool um, at the top of the status bar you can tell that we uh, have the battery icon right there theme blue, there are obviously since it's AOSP. Sadly you don't get a battery percentage since this is stock and the Nexus 4 did not either but you could always install Battery Widget Reborn which is what I installed. Let's let the camera focus. Sorry guys. Right there and that's an awesome battery right there and it gives you this stuff and it gives you widgets too. Let's zoom back out. So um, some little things that they have tweaked. If we go into the lock screen we do get the CRT off animation. Um, you actually could add widgets like email, which you can't do on stock, at least that I remember. I haven't been able to add email on stock. Otherwise, it's pretty basic stuff. As you can see here, if we go back in the lock screen, I also have battery widget reborn set here. Awesome widget that gives you your battery percentage. So this comes with the stock Nexus 4 launcher. and your apps that you get. Um, it'll come with apps like the music app right here. All your normal stuff, you will need to flash gaps and I'll have that down below after you flash the ROM. And um, the install instructions are in the thread for this ROM. But there's not much to say. This is basically stock 4.2.2. You get all the Android AOSP goodness and you don't get all those tweaks which as I said before, a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing that you get much faster experience. Bad thing that you don't have that many tweaks. It does come with Galaxy S3 settings right here. We could open that up. As you can see, I, na I disabled my back key lights because I don't really feel a need for them. Um, guys, when you first install this and you do live in an LTE area, you're going to want to go into More and uh, Mobile Networks, Access Point Names and switch to AT&T phone or whatever you have T-Mobile switch to whatever T-Mobile phone or whatever it has for your international it doesn't matter because you can't get LTE switch to that and at least if for me I'm on AT&T and that gave me LTE before I didn't have LTE I was just getting between 3G and uh, 4G and I switched to LTE by doing that and now I got LTE uh, one bummer I mean this is one of the bummers of having stock 4.2.2 is if you're used to clicking Wi-Fi to disable it, which I am, it does not work like that anymore. You have to hold it. Otherwise, if you tab it, 
you're just gonna go in here and you're gonna have to do that so if you guys don't remember that's from stock but I'm pretty sure you could live with that so as I said guys this is a blazing fast ROM um, get all your stock apps here like your phone messaging um, camera internet since this is still a new build um, especially for AT&T and T-Mobile um, you will encounter some problems. YouTube's forced close for me a couple of times, but haven't had too much of a problem there. And um, sometimes you might see a little bit lag. But as I said, for the first, this is the first build. It was just released yesterday, I think, for the AT&T Galaxy S3. I'm not sure about T-Mobile, but that's pretty cool that that quickly and it's unbelievably fast. And I haven't had any problems except for some YouTube forced closes, which I haven't had for a while now. If we go on a battery, I've actually been using this for a while today. 6 hours, 46 minutes, 55%. Screen on time has been around 44 minutes. I've been listening to a lot of music though, so I guess that doesn't count as screen on time. But um, I just flashed this ROM since I said it is a new build. So the battery life still needs to get used to it. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, go check out the ROM. I'll have the threads below, and also I'll have the gaps download, which should be in the thread anyway, so it might be in the thread. Um, guys, make sure to subscribe for videos like this, and also if you are getting the S4, I will be making reviews, a lot of reviews with that. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and please donate so I can get future devices. Thanks for watching.